look at homework review problem number five and this one is pretty tricky and we are driving past a radio transmitter that broadcasts in a 36 mile radius so right there it tells me we have a circle now I did draw a circle I drew it centered at the origin uh, in this problem uh, that'll be very uh, wise thing to do because we drive along a straight line from a city 43 miles north to a second city 45 miles east. So the two cities, one of them's a little further north than 36 miles. So let's say the north city's right there, and that'll be 45. And that should be a 43. And there's another point outside the radio transmitting zone right here, that'll be 45. We're driving on a straight line between these two. And it's going to look like we're only going to be inside the circle for a portion of the trip. Um, what we really need to do, I'm going to switch colors here. We really want to find the distance between the pink dots. In order to do that, we need to find the pink dots, the coordinates of these dots. <clears throat> so these dots are on the intersection of the gray line and the circle. So we're going to need some equations for these. So let's start with the circle. So the circle is going to be in general form. It's always going to be a standard form. That's the easiest way to, to write the equation for a circle. So I'll write the standard form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared. Good news is center is 0, 0, so h is 0, k is 0, and that gives us x squared plus y squared equals radius is 36, and is 36 squared. I could square this, but that is going to uh, take a lot of time, not be necessary at this point in the problem. So I have my equation for the circle. Now I'm going to go equation of a line. Now a line, I like point slope form. You can definitely go with a y-intercept form because we have a y-intercept, which is 43. Uh, but I'm, I like point-slope form so much, I'm just going to go for the point-slope form. And the way I write that is usually going to see at y minus y0 equals m x minus x0. And you're almost always going to be adding y0 to the other side. So I like to just start in the form, and start in this form. So I'm going to need a slope, and I can use either point. Let's go ahead and use the y-intercept point. So one of the points on the circle is 43, uh, 0, 43. That's the north point. Uh, oh, I said point on the circle. I meant point on the line is uh, 0, 43. The other point on the line is 45, 0. So you should be able to tell just from looking the slope's very close to negative 1, but not quite. So slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it doesn't matter which one is 1 and 2. I'll just choose the uh, east point as the second point. So our y coordinate is 0 minus y coordinate of 43 divided by 45 minus y, uh, x coordinate of 0. So that's going to be negative 43 over 45. So very close to 1, but not quite. So we're ready to line up our point equation. y equals negative 43 over 45. x minus, I am using the 0, 043 point for my uh, x0, y0 values. So my x0 is 0 plus y0 is 43. All right, we'll just clean this up. Y equals negative 43 over 45. X plus 43. So that's one equation. The other equation I want to intersect is the circle. So I'm going to copy that down. X squared plus Y squared equals 36 squared. So we have a system 
that we need to solve. Three ways to solve systems, substitution and elimination. And well, the third only works if it's a linear, but you can put them into a matrix and use row reduction. But this one's not linear because we see that there's some squared terms. All right, so we're gonna use, let's go substitution. I already have the first equation solved for y. So what I'm gonna do is take all of this and plug it in for y in the second equation. Substitute. Hopefully that's right. Substitution. All right, so we have x squared plus, here's the substitution that I'm making. So I'm just copying down this second equation. And I'm going to, well, I'll write it out first, then we'll make our sub. So now I'm going to take out y and plug in negative 43 40 fifths x plus 43 still squared equals 36 squared all right so this is looking pretty ugly let's go ahead and we do want to solve for x so first thing I'm gonna to have to do is foil this out and then I will have some x terms some x squared terms and some constants and we're look we're looking at a quadratic equation it's just not in the normal quadratic form so we'll need to get it there. So we got x squared plus foiling this, we have 43 squared over 45 squared x squared. So I squared the first term, it does become positive. Now we're gonna multiply inside outside terms. So we get minus, and there's gonna be two of these. So we'll go with uh, two times, these terms are gonna be negative, so it's negative we're multiplying these two together. We have 43 squared divided by 45 X. So that's the product of those two terms and we get two of those. Now we're gonna square the last term plus 43 squared equals 36 squared. Okay, and once we do this, we're gonna simplify this a little more. X squared, there are two X squared terms. There's an, one X squared and then a 43 squared over 45 squared X squared. So I'm gonna as X squared times one plus 43 squared over 45 squared. Now right here, unfortunately, uh, none of this is going to reduce down at all, so it's going to be minus. So these numbers are going to be really ugly when we square them. They're already really bad. So it's 2 times 43 squared over 45. And we're going to add another, there's another 43 squared. Now I want to get all my constants on one side, so we're going to subtract 36 squared and we're we'll left with zero on the right side. All right, so we're getting closer. This is actually pretty good form here. Uh, I need an X term. My math spidey sense is going off and I think it's just because I forgot to copy my X down. All right, we're gonna go with quadratic formula because these numbers are gonna be horrible. So here's the regular quadratic form. This was my goal. I was trying to get it into this form which I have done. I just need to group together those two numbers. So RA is one plus 43 squared over 45 squared minus, oh, that's just A. B is negative two times 43 squared divided by 45. And C is 43 squared minus 36 squared. So we're gonna go quadratic formula. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus four AC all over two A. All right, you're gonna get two X values. 
you need to turn them into points by finding the y values. You can use either equation from our system to turn them into y values. Now I think there's, well, they're both going to be kind of nasty. I'm just going to rewrite this linear equation. I think that's a little simpler. At least it doesn't require squaring. So we are going to figure out two x values. We're going to plug each one in and then get each y value that goes along with that. y equals negative 43, 45 x plus, oh, that was not plus 36, plus something, plus 43. All right, so then you're going to get two points. So turn it to ooh, two points. Uh, then all you do is find the distance between the points. distance formula, distance between x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2, so those are our two points, equals square root x2 minus x1, you have to find the x measurement between those two points, square that, and then the y measurement between those two points and square that. That distance should be the answer to this homework question.